Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another episode of Imperial Diecast. In today's episode, we're going to be doing an unboxing. The first time in this channel. I usually don't do unboxings because they take a lot of time. and You have to like get all the stickers out of the cars and everything. But today, we are going to be reviewing something different. Now, as the title suggests, we're going to be doing a review on American Diorama figures. I decided to buy a couple of these because I wanted to breathe life into my collection of model cars. And by life, of course I mean people. So let's see what's inside the box. Now I got these figures off eBay, because eBay is usually the kind of place where you'll find all these things. But there are some model car shops that also deal with American Diorama figures. One of them, at least here in Europe, being CK model cars. I believe Modellissimo also has them. And in the United States, I'm not sure where you'll find them. You'll probably have to check uh, American Excellence or maybe Diecast Models Wholesale. I'm not sure if they stock them. As always, there's lots of packaging material. Well, let's get that out of the way. And here we have the first model. Let me just put it here. Let's see what else we got. Here's the second one. I always clean them off these particles. Here's the third one. go. This packaging stuff <laughs> gets stuck in all kinds of places. That's a fuel pump right there. More in a minute. And finally the last sixth item. Which is another fuel pump. So these are the six items that I bought. As you can see I have two 118 scale American Diorama figures, two 124 scale American Diorama figures, as well as two gas pumps. Now these gas pumps are also in scale 118 because I could not find any in scale 124. Because I have a diecast car collection that is not just 118 scale but also 124 scale, I decided to split up the figures so that I have representatives for both my 118 and 124 scale model cars. So let's take a closer look at these figures. Now this one is called Greaser's Buddy. Guy's a roid monkey, let me tell you that. Looks pretty good. Moving on to the second one. She's called Cool Grid Girl or Umbrella Girl. Also very nice. If you take a close-up of the face, you can just see how much detail we got going on there. On the product photos, they did not look that impressive, but in real life, I'm actually quite happy. Of course, we got a little bit of paint over here that is coming onto the shirt of the guy, but Something like this can be corrected if you have a black marker or black paint of your own in your house. And here's a close-up of the gas pumps. Left one is a Studebaker pump and the right one is a Chevrolet pump. I decided to buy these two because they look different from one another. And there's a whole range of different pumps which simply have different stickers on them. For example, uh, we have this type of pump, but which has different companies. And this type of pump, which again has a whole bunch of different variations. But the, the model, the base model is always the same. So there were only two different types, so I decided to get both. In, of course, the combination that I liked. Now moving on to the 124 scale figures. They're a little bit smaller and a little bit cheaper as well. 
and get this to focus, you can see again, even though they're smaller, there is a lot of detail on the face, on the shirt, as well as creases on the trousers. And down here we have another grid girl. Again, we got plenty of detail going on, even though she is smaller than the other one. Now I'm going to get all of these unboxed and then we'll have an even closer look. Now just as a side note, but these gas pump replicas are made by the company Yatming, as you can see right here. You may know them from making 124 scale cars, and I think they've made a couple of 118 scale cars as well. So while the figures were made by American Diorama, these were made by Yatming, and they're part of the road signature collection. This might help searching for them on eBay. All right, guys, check it out. Here we are. Now, in terms of price, each 118 scale figure costed me around 10 euros, and each 124 scale figure was approximately 8 euros and 50 cents, I think. Both gas pumps were priced the same, which was, I think, around 6 euros, and for everything I paid 10 euro shipping. So, all in all, That'd be 10, 20, 28, 36, and then 42, 48, and 10 euro shipping, so 58 euros. Which is not necessarily cheap, but on the other hand, it's also not so expensive that these figures are unaffordable. Because, remember, when it comes to figures, I mean, like all the resin casts and all that, I don't collect figures, but I've seen, like, manga and anime figures go for, like, 60 euros or 120 euros each, which is crazy. Of course, they're bigger than this, but still. Um, that's the reason why I collect die-cast model cars, because I just feel like you get so much more for your money than if you go collecting statues or figures, basically. And there's people out there with, like, shelves full of figures, and they've paid, like, hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of euros for those. Uh, that's not what's the goal here. The goal here was simply to get a couple of figures to enhance my cars and sort of give them a little bit of life and that's exactly what these figures do each of these figures also has names so that makes searching for them easier on youtube and um while i'm here i just want to give out a quick shout out to another diecast channel a very famous one in fact and that is external star channel because it was his review of these american diorama figures that inspired me to get my own as well because before that, I'd just seen them on the internet, and I had not seen any videos on YouTube where the figures are being reviewed. So, thanks, Marek. Let's take a closer look at these figures. We'll start with the Studebaker gas pump. I believe this is supposed to represent a gas pump design that was a few decades older than the other one. I believe gasoline levels were measured in this tube. You can see that it says, Authorized Studebaker Service, and down here we have a lead warning. Now the hose with the fuel nozzle can actually be removed from its holder, like so. Moving on to the grid girl. She definitely knows how to dress. Red umbrella and some high heels to go along with her outfit. Greaser buddies like, yo, what's going on? Rockin' some Converse All-Stars. And don't forget those epic sideburns. This is Giovanni, also called 70s Man. Business attire. Wearing some nicely polished shoes. And here's Grid Girl 2. Slightly bored from having to pose all day. Same outfit as the other one, including the same killer high heels. 
And here's the other fuel pump. Definitely from a more recent era. Also comes with a warning sign. And some amazing gas prices. With the Chevrolet Corvette logo up top. The fuel hose can also be lifted from its holder as well. All right. And here's a quick look at the back of all these figures. Grid girl looking particularly smoking. And here's a close up of the race flags on her jacket. Now, Giovanni, our 70s man, in his left hand is actually holding a small cigar. Let me show you. Right there. And here, once again, is a size difference between the 118 and the 124 scale figures. Just so you get an idea. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped you out, and I'll see you next time. This is Imperial Diecast, signing out.